Hey Pisces, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for August 2023. Alrighty, let's get started. I don't know why I'm tasting applesauce. Probably because apples are here, but I'm tasting applesauce. With cinnamon. Mugwort intuition, um, cumin, faithfulness, honey ambrosia, and over on you seaweed prediction. This is nice. So if you are worried about the validity or commitment or faithfulness of anyone, you can trust it with honey ambrosia. You can trust it Ooh, with intuition and prediction. You don't even need this reading. <laughs> But does Pisces ever, you're the high priestess. Intuitively, you know. Your intuition is extremely powerful, very heightened, especially right now. With intuition and prediction. So something in this reading, this reading is just confirmation, I feel like. Or something that comes up in this reading is going to be confirmed. But yeah, with faithfulness and ambrosia, honey and cumin, like, yeah. You can trust that something is, you can trust something, basically. It's solid. It's faithful. It's honest. All right, let's get into the tarot for Pisces. Or you can trust your intuition. Judgment. The Tower, Aries. The high priestess, again, I knew it. <laughs> Pisces, ace of pentacles, eight of wands. Something that you predicted is coming true. Something that you predicted. You pulled, you either pulled your own cards or you had a dream or an epiphany. You had some type of intuitive message come to you in any way, shape, or form it came. It's coming true. I feel like all of a sudden, if you didn't have any psychic abilities before this, they're about to hit you like a ton of bricks. Like your intuition is going to be extremely powerful in the next 48 with the high priestess tower intuition and prediction and it's going to come to you with the eight of wands so i'm seeing it in two ways if you whether you actually had an intuition or not or you were using your psychic abilities or not all of a sudden in the next 48 they're going to be 10 times more heightened like extremely good especially when it comes to finances i feel like your intuition is going to lead you to some type of money or job or something here also a second chance for something so if your intuition went away for a while or your psychic abilities went away all of a sudden they're going to come back really fast and you can trust that they're not going to go anywhere clarify this for pisces we got um aries and pisces here the signs you could be dealing with or have highly aspected. Clarifying judgment. Face of three of cups. Yeah, you're reuniting with that. Reuniting with your intuition, your powers. Also, there's someone here who wants to come back, of course. We have the Knight of Cups. I usually see this as an offer an or an apology. But especially with the three of cups, this is an apology and an offer. And with judgment, someone wants to come back. You could have foreseen this. You already knew. <laughs> Clarifying the tower is the fool. A new beginning. Aquarius energy, the sun. Wow. So this is going to make you happy. Clarifying the high priestess, the seven of cups. The chariot. Some of you, <laughs> Some of you say no and move on. You could have a lot of options at this time, but I see a lot of you saying no to this and moving on because you know that someone's being manipulative or you know someone has options, so you move on. You could know someone's moving or that you're moving, so you just, yeah. But I feel like you know that someone has options or they're being manipulative, so you just move on. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is the Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So you're coming into a very fortunate time when it comes to your money. I feel like, yeah, you can see everything clearly when it comes to your finances. 
Like your intuition, your mind is on point to a T when it comes to your finances. And I feel like you know intuitively that money's coming in. I feel like, sorry, it was a train. But I feel like um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, you're coming into a karmic cycle of wealth. You're meant to, it's karmically meant to occur for you to be wealthy or to get money, like money coming in at this time. Overall energy is the world. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy. So yeah, a cycle is closing when it comes to the past or any gaslighting or manipulation or game playing when it comes to your mind. Like no one, they're not able to do that to you. It's not going to work. With the Queen of Swords, your mind is like a... Because I'm seeing someone tap their head and it's like a steel plate. <laughs> like your mind is strong. I'm seeing a girl tap her head and it sounds like steel or metal. Your mind is too strong. Like where people might have been able to get one over on you in the past. they It's impossible now. It's totally impossible. You can see right through someone. But I see you getting a new beginning here. With the fool and the tower, it's a shock to you. It's very surprising to you, but it's a very happy new beginning with the sun. Lots of joy, happiness, abundance. You're coming into a very happy time in your life where you can see everything crystal clear. And you're moving forward pretty rapidly as well with the eight wands. Like this is going to happen quick. I feel like you're going to have a, a day where you predict your entire day for some of you. Or this is for someone here. It's like you can predict everything that's going to happen in the next 48. And it comes true. Like this is some insane psychic energy here. <laughs> but yeah, I see you just totally closing the cycle to the past. Some of you reconcile, some of you don't. But I just feel like there's, um, if you were confused, because the Seven of Cups can simply be confusion as well about whether to move forward or not, whether to travel or not, whether to move or not. It's going to be made crystal clear to you in the next 48 exactly what it is you need to do. Especially when it comes, I feel like when it comes to your finances, you you have intuitive powers when it comes to that. But I feel like more so you're just coming into a time where you're karmically meant to have this abundance. You're meant to have this ace of pentacles because it's clarified by the wheel of fortune. And I just feel like that's something you knew with the queen of swords. But I feel like, yeah, you're just meant to be wealthy in this period of your life. So that's what's coming in and it's coming in quick with the eight of wands. So expect a message from someone from your past in the next 48. That's coming in quick because right behind this um, eight of wands is the three cups. So yeah, it's so the three of cups is here twice. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.